Walmart, the Chinese slave good clearance center, is planning on installing facial recognition scanning software on their already current surveillance system, which would allow them to then identify every single person who stepped foot into the store. Oh, but don't worry, I'm sure they would never abuse this. These big corporations never abuse your personal information. In fact, Walmart is uh, drafting up a voluntary code of conduct. <laughs> For those who don't know, facial recognition scanning systems have been fully functional and used for well over a decade uh, at the Super Bowl, uh, in casinos, government facilities, etc. Many shopping malls probably use the systems already. It's just a secret security procedure. Uh, about 10 years ago, a store, a shopping mall in the Netherlands, uh, admitted that they were using the system to identify shoplifters. Really, some of the first uh, places to use facial recognition scanning, other than government facilities, were casinos <laughs> because they need to protect their uh, racket from uh, card counters and would-be cheaters. Uh, the Sochi Olympics, Sochi Olympics are using facial recognition scanning at the airport. Um, Super Bowl, not only just this last Super Bowl, but... Dating back to 2001, so 13 years ago, the Super Bowl was using facial recognition scanning system. This is an article from Wired Magazine from 2001 that said that the Super Bowl was just scanning the crowds for people, uh, you know, just to find uh, would-be terrorists or uh, people with warrants, etc. Um, we know, thanks to a hack and thanks to WikiLeaks, that the, um, oh, by the way, um, sporting events in Australia are using uh, facial recognition systems. So this is all out in the open. So it's, it's only a matter of time before uh, the Orwellian nightmare unleashes itself, really just admits itself in America. Uh, we know about facial recognition scanning systems being used on streets and in major, you know, just in major cities. Thanks to WikiLeaks and thanks to a hack I've talked about this before. Uh, there was a, uh, uh, well, is a an intelligence front company called Stratfor, out of Texas that was had their emails hacked into, and the contents of those emails was leaked on WikiLeaks, and it verified that, um, and just for about you know almost ten years now, the government has been uh, deployed facial recognition scanning systems on major streets. Uh, kind of like the system in the, I think it's the CBS, on CBS, uh, Person of Interest, which is about a, you know, supposedly fictional, but it's <laughs> basically real, uh, all-knowing, all-powerful, artificially intelligent system that uses facial recognition, scanning, voice printing, um, just every kind of data mining technique to find everybody. Um, Facebook, of course, is working hand-in-hand -hand with the the NSA, the National Spying Agency, uh, to create face prints for everybody, and then they're handing that data over to the government because most uh, facial recognition scanning systems need a variety of photos from a variety of different angles to create a proper and accurate face print. And so uh, since you know Facebook has those photos, and you've agreed to that in the terms of service, uh, and you've tagged your family and friends with facial recognition systems. Anyway, uh, Facebook has turned those face prints over, or I mean, really just implemented them on behalf of the NSA. And, um, oh, you say, oh, I don't have anything to hide. Oh, you don't have anything to hide. You shouldn't worry about this. Oh, well, I guess you're wrong again. Let me just point out the name tag, the facial recognition app uh, that scans faces for dating profiles. Oh, and criminal backgrounds, too. So uh, I guess you just don't mind your girlfriend or your, you know, your sister, your, your kids, your daughter, um, you know, being scanned by some creep with the Google Glass or an ISIS or other HMD head-mounted display, uh, you know, computer on your face using the, the name tag facial recognition scanning system to then just, you know, just find her Facebook profile or if she's on LinkedIn or if she's on any of the dating sites or any of the, you know, kind of the, uh, the loosey-goosey hookup sites. Um, no, that's not going to be creepy at all, is it, when, you know, just somebody just, you know, scans your daughter, girlfriend, wife, um, uh, and, or your mom, who knows, <laughs> uh, and just, you know, just it comes up to them, oh, hey, how you doing, Susan, I, uh, 
I scanned you with my name tag facial recognition scan app. Yeah, oh hey, I found you on uh, Match.com, plenty of fish and LinkedIn. Yeah, oh hey, you're a, yeah, I see you're a salesperson too. Yeah, that's great. I've uh, you know I've sold pianos. Uh, that's great. Uh, yeah, hey, we should hang out. I mean, that, that's not going to be creepy at all, is it? When you know just this this technology not only is in the hands of the you know your trusty government officials. Uh, but in the hands of every psycho stalker stumbling around the streets. This is, in fact, so creepy that even the E! Channel, the, the entertainment channel, did an article about it uh, and didn't even really have a celebrity tie-in. Uh, I mean, look at this. Just when you thought Google Glass couldn't get any creepier, new apps allow strangers to ID you just by looking at you. But the the E Channel uh, loving losers will just love these apps because they'll come they'll download the celebrity spotting app, uh, so that way if they're walking into a crowd, it'll spot people that look like a celebrity, or maybe you'll be able to spot the celebrities themselves. And I also will point out to you the incredible disastrous effects of the false positives because a lot of these HMDs, the head-mounted display computer on your faces. Um, are offering a criminal background check facial recognition scanner that they say will just allow you to scan everybody that you come across. You know, if you're sitting in a bar or a restaurant or just walking down the street, they're claiming that it will be able to identify people with criminal records. The problem is these systems are going to have so many false positives it's going to put people, and maybe this would be a good thing, it's going to put the people using these apps into a panicked scare because the government's facial recognition scanning database is going to be incredibly powerful because they have, again, access to your Facebook photos that you know have just mapped you in the, the hundreds of different photos and um, you know environments that you've been in. But these other facial recognition apps, well, I guess they'll just scan Facebook for your photos too, but they could very well... Uh, mark a bunch of p false positives. And so let's even just say it's 80% accurate, okay? That means that 20% of the time it's going to recognize somebody that looks like they are somebody that has, uh, you know, criminal background, criminal history. Uh, and it's not going to be them. So you're really going to open yourself up. You could really open yourself up to defamation, really, if you uh, believe that you're in the uh, presence of a criminal and then you start um, you know, making statements about it and it's not true, it's the wrong person, now you can get sued for defamation. Uh, this is going to be the true test of the really the last bastion of freedom, of privacy, um, walking down the street without uh, having people know who you are, or, you know, just sitting in a bar or a restaurant uh, without being able to recognize who you are. And, I mean, let's not, <laughs> we don't even want to get into these sicko um, stalkers and the child abusers that will most likely use these apps just to, oh, yeah, I mean, you posted pictures of your kids on Facebook, so they'll just scan, you know, scan some kids, find out who they are. Creepy to the 10th degree. So way to go, Walmart. But I'm, I'm, I'm sure that they're just going to use this to identify shoplifters. I'm sure that they will not create a database profile on everybody who steps into the store and how often you come into the store and how long you stay into the store and what aisle you tend to shop and how many times you come into the store without actually buying something. And then I'm sure that they're not going to link your purchase to your face scan if you happen to pay cash because you're buying some perhaps a health-related product that you're a little embarrassed about, that you don't want to be public knowledge. I'm sure that Walmart, <laughs> the Chinese slave goods superstore, who's drafting up their volunteer code of conduct for facial recognition scan, I'm sure that they will have your best interest in mind. And I'm sure that they will not... Uh, you know, just allow the NSA and the local police and everybody else to just have an access point into their scanners. I'm sure that I'm just a crazy conspiracy theorist, aren't I? Anyway, if you want to get up to speed on this, 
get my book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare, come true. It's not available in stores. It's in paperback, only on Amazon.com, or you can get it on your e-reading device. Uh, there's plenty of more information. I, I can't really articulate it all. So get the book, get up to speed, become a part of the resistance, and we need to stand up and preserve and really reinstate the privacy that we once had and reinstate the, the Bill of Rights uh, before we, this country and this planet, just caves in to a science fiction style Orwellian tyranny worse than anybody's imagination. So I really appreciate everybody's support. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out the previous videos. There are playlists on youtube.com slash Mark Dice. Subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, The, the Resistance, youtube.com slash The Resistance. And stay tuned because there's more videos coming soon.